All right, guys, you're gonna plug your box into the wall with a supplied power cord, and then you're going to connect your HDMI to your TV from the box. You'll wait for the screen to load up. Once it's loaded up, you're going to have to point the remote directly at the box for now until we connect the Bluetooth. You're going to hit agree. You're going to find your Wi-Fi. You're going to put your password in. All right, once you have your password in, you're going to click connect. Once it says Wi-Fi connected, you're going to go down to the bottom and then hit next. Right here, you go up and down till your screen is completely filled in. For mine, it's 96. Click finish. All right, now we're going to connect our remote. There is a blue voice button on the remote. You're going to click the blue voice button. The screen is going to pop up. You're going to point the remote at the box and press the two buttons that it's telling you to press on the screen. You're going to hold them down until it says pairing and then eventually connected. If that doesn't work the first try, sometimes you don't click them fast enough. Just repeat the process. Hit, hit the back button or go home and then repeat the process. Sometimes it might take two or three tries. All right, now we're gonna to go to the App Store. We're gonna hit the green App Store, the Android App Store. Confirm. All right, the green App Store is now blue. From the minute you download this, that's when your one year warranty starts. You're gonna click on the blue App Store, watch this disclaimer. Once it's finished, click OK. All right, now you're going to click on Blue VOD, Blue TV, Playback, and Backup TV. Then you can click on YouTube. You don't have to get YouTube. It's just an option if you want it. The top four are the main four that we're going to go for. Once they turn green, it's complete. We're going to stay on the screen until everything turns green that we clicked on. All right, they're all green. We're going to press the home button. Now we're going to go and click live TV. Then we're going to click add. We're going to click on blue TV. All right, that section is set up. Hit the back button. Now go to VOD, click Add, you're going to click Blue VOD. That section is complete. Go to Playback, hit Add, and then Playback. Guys, sometimes you'll get in these sections, and I'm just going to show you what it looks like sometimes. Sometimes you'll get here, and it'll have all these extra things clicked. Just click the Add button and deselect everything that is not the things that we're installing. Then hit the back button and it goes back to normal. Also, when you update these apps, they're going to go away. You're going to have to go back in. Like if you update the blue TV, it'll be gone. You're going to have to go click add and go back in. All right, now go to this little bottom corner right here. We'll click add. We will put backup TV there and we will click add and put YouTube there. All right, so before I was having people put uh, the speed test uh, app on there, but this little button down here at the bottom next to the, the trash can delete button, that is also a speed test. So if we want live TV, our primary app is blue TV. If we want video on demand, like Netflix style TV, we're going to use Blue VOD as our primary. 
playback is to go back and watch sporting events as well as some news channels. There's about 100 channels in there. You can go back seven days. All major sports games are there as well as pay-per-views. And then backup TV is a backup for live TV as well as video on demand. If you can't find a channel inside of the blue TV section, check it for backup. Or if you can't find a movie or show you're trying to watch, check in backup. Remember the customer service button right here at the bottom right. Then you scan the left QR code that will pull up customer service if you guys have any problems. If there ends up being a problem inside of your one year warranty that is uh, something that can't be resolved by customer service, they will have you contact me and we'll swap it out and I'll get it taken care of. If y'all have any questions, just shoot me a message.